Yes, this is such a cute little dress uh, and it's very easy to make. So I'm going to show you how to do it first. So I take the fabric and fold it. So it's folded once and then folded once again. So I've kind of got a double fold so I can cut for both the front and the back at the same time. I'm using a t-shirt that fits kind of to, to draw around just to make sure that I've got the right width. And I'm not gonna make like sleeves and tops on this. So I'm just gonna fold it down like approximately uh, down towards where the sleeves start a little bit higher and then make a little curve there so it kind of doesn't go straight across the chest but kind of curves upwards a little bit both on the front and the back for now I'm gonna afterwards you can see how I'm gonna do it then I'm just gonna cut this bit straight off because then I know that that's the back so it's curved on the front and not curved at the back and then I'm marking for what I want to be the skirt very quick and just like I know that that's a good width for the skirt and of course you could measure it you can make sure that it's completely perfect but I don't and this is for the straps and I'm also going to adjust them as I go along so it's, I just cut some fabric and this I want to be two like layered double layered so I'm just using some old remnants that I have and they're not quite as a big but I'm hoping that's going to work out still so you can see, um, yeah, I'm just cutting it straight across the back here where I want the back to be. So this is from an old t-shirt. So that's kind of, you know, washed out of shape and not perfect, but it's gonna go along the back. So it's, it's really fine. It's just to have that top double layered so I can hide the strap ends in there. So for the straps here, I'm just folding it and then like having the fabric face in. Uh, just some problems with the thread there and then stitching it down along the sides so I can turn it in a moment turn it out to front then I don't have to worry about nice edges or anything because those edges get hidden inside so that is one strap being ready doing the same for the other one and then the edges of those straps can then be hidden inside the the, the kind of the, the double layered top part of the dress which is really good and this is like made for my daughter but I can easily make one of these for myself. It's like, it's a very cute design and it's nice. And I have like, you know, made lots of dresses like that because they just fit well, uh, elasticated fabric. So yeah, really nice. So putting on the straps and I am placing them where I kind of know where I want them to be. And of course you can stitch the, the outer part of the top together first and then, you know, try it on or, you know, have the one who's going to wear it, try it on. And then you can attach the straps to how you actually like how, how they're going to look best. And I am just attaching them how I think, you know, how they normally fit her because I'm sewing a lot. So yeah, so I have this kind of idea about where I want them. But of course, you know, try them on, make sure they fit before you stitch them in place which I'm gonna do now, just a quick stitch because all this will be hidden inside when the other layer comes on. And making sure that the, out, uh, the outward facing bit of the straps is facing towards the front of the fabric as well. So they're facing the, the right way and you get the edges of the fabric kind of hidden. So that's the front, back um, and front, the front part of the fabric back and front. And then I'm gonna attach the inner side and I've kind of just cut up that tube. And yes, it's really not straight because it's from an old t-shirt. You can even see the washing uh, label there. So I'm just stitching along the top and I'm using like an elasticated stitch here to make sure that it will hold up when it gets pulled. Because then I, I hide those, edge, those, uh, those edges of the straps. So like this, and I need to pull it a little bit, but it's okay. Uh, I can pull this fabric a little bit because it's stretchy, so it's fine. And I'm actually doing with my serger here because that, that seam is stretchy and then I just cut all the fabric off I don't need, so that's cool. And then it's time to sew the double, like the two layers, the front layer and the back layer together. So I'm placing them so the seam like in the middle is aligned and then the two layers of the front fabric are facing in towards each other and the two layers of the lining fabric is facing in towards each other. And that's one side done, doing the same with the other side. Then you can't see anything inside it, then it just looks pretty and uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about seams or loose threads or anything because everything gets hidden there inside. 
it looks very good and you could use the same fabric if you had enough of it then you wouldn't have to worry about a little kind of lining uh, part of the fabric showing or anything so that's that that's the top and you could even just keep that as a little crop top or make it longer if you fancy doing that but i am going to add the skirt in a little bit right now it's just nice and easy to um yeah to maybe just make sure that these two layers are nicely kind of fitted together then i'm going to stitch down along the side where I cut out for the skirt and that skirt bit is of course quite wide but that's because I want the skirt bit to be wider than the top so I can make some some ruffles some gathers that stitched down along the side now and then I'm going to attach it to the top bit and I'm going to do that with safety pins just to keep it in place so when I attach um, kind of linings or top bits to skirts to make dresses I often use safety pins instead of needles or pins or clips because they kind of they don't fall out I don't risk that I'm moving my fabric about and then suddenly I, I drop it and there's pins everywhere and I've kind of lost my marking of course I just have to be careful that I take the safety pin out when sewing but but I can easily do that so basically with this I just stretch the top bit of the fabric a little bit and then make some gathers on the on this uh, on the skirt bit and then that's how I make these two um, kind of pieces uh, fit together. And when I have those uh, safety pin um, markings on it, then I know, okay, I know where I am and I know that this fabric of the skirt bits gets evenly distributed around uh, on the top bit. So I don't suddenly have all my, all my gathers, all my fabric at the front of the dress and then nothing at the back. So it's just a good way to make sure that you know where you are in the process. And basically, there is really nothing left now, hardly anything less left. The top bit is attached to the skirt bit, it looks cute, looks super good. And I need to hem it, and you can uh, do a zigzag stitch, you can use a stir serger stitch at the bottom. And uh, basically then just, you can also do nothing because this jersey fabric, it doesn't really fray, so it's not that big a deal. You can see I'm doing nothing in this case. And I'm just folding it up like two centimeters up towards the back and then stitching it in place with a normal um, straight seam. You can give it an extra seam if you want to have like, so it looks like it's been made with a twin needle if you don't have a twin needle. I feel like a twin needle always looks good on jersey. It kind of looks like those uh, t-shirt bottoms, that just looks really good. And uh, that's it. That was a very quick dress and she is enjoying it and I'm enjoying it too. The fabric is cute and it's just easy to make. So happy making and I uh, hope you enjoy this. Bye-bye.